What are the big differences uh, between the 850 and the 800 that we're used to? Um, it's all new, ground up, new clean sheet of paper design. It's a 9% increase in power. 9%? Yep. So, what was the book value on power with the 800? Uh, we don't publish them. Yeah, you don't. Okay. okay. So, so, it's overall 9%. Yeah, yep, a 9% increase. So, um, we went through and did a lot of things. We increased, increased the size of the crankshaft, um, new piston. Just went, went through and found all the little things that we could improve on over the 800. We did, we did them and we put them in this package. So, I see it's a single uh, ring design. Yep. Why would you go with a single ring over a dual ring? Uh, we went with a single ring, it's a steel ring. Um, it provides good heat distribution. Um, we haven't had, we've had really good luck in testing with it, so. Okay, what about lightening up the crank? Uh, the crank is very similar design to the current 800. So it's got the pork chop, you can see it's kind of got the pork chop webs. Uh, it is beefier, so it's got bigger bigger pins, bigger lower rod bearings. Uh, we actually have increased, we've actually added a little bit of weight there for durability. Right. But we've managed to maintain the response of the 800 hat. Electronic wise? Yep. Difference in electronics? Uh, it is a new Stater. ECU. This, uh, yep, the electronics are a little bit different. Uh, we have uh, our power boosting regulator system. So we first introduced that on the Titans last year. Right. Uh, it just allows power through the whole RPM band. Um, and what that allows is things like hand warmers to work at idle better, um, headlight. A lot of people like, especially in this region, like to add those power, power shields, heated seat. Allows, allows for those type of options, right? Yeah. Uh, any difference in the cooling, uh, the cooling system? Yeah, there's a change to the cooling system. So typically, we would have our uh, thermostat on the head, right? Yeah. So we've moved it off the engine, improved durability, right? Right. Just improves the durability of the thermostat, less failures. I had, I had a failure yep. with mine. Yeah. So we see that, see that typically on some of the RMKs and some of the stuff like that that runs a little bit higher RPM just to the gearing and clutching. Yep. Um, so we moved it off the engine. That's a, durability. that's a great idea. Actually, a very good idea. Uh, what about do uh, dome design? Anything different in there? No, it's pretty similar to the uh, previous engines. Um, I know there was some development work there. I wasn't involved with that. Um, like I said, I do most of the calibration stuff, so I don't, I don't have the intricacies on how the dome chain may have changed here, but as you can see, it's a pretty similar design. Yeah, throttle bodies, very similar uh, yep. injection They're system. A little bit shorter throttle bodies, uh, new vendor, new contact uh, list TPS sensor. So it should be more durable. Engine vibration? Yeah, so we've improved our mounting system. Um, we've put these mounts that are closer to the center line. Really improves the overall feel and vibration. Um, you'll notice it when you start to sled that it, it feels very refined. You don't feel it on your feet? Yep, exactly. You don't feel it on your feet yep. as much. And uh, probably for uh, motor mount longevity as well. Yes. The other ones were getting a little, uh, they get a little chewed up. Definitely improved and it also kind of holds the engine right like this. So it's, it's just more stable. Yep. Well, this motor was a long time coming for Polaris. Yep. We've been living with an 800 for quite a long time, right? Yep. Uh, how many cc's is it exactly? 840. It's 840. Yep. Yep. Excellent. A couple uh, other things that we've added that you can't see here is a new ECU. That new ECU supports uh, a new fuel pressure and fuel temperature sensor. That allows us to compensate for fuel temperature and fuel pressure. And in the case of, say, a fuel pump failure or someone running out of fuel, uh, we'll actually uh, limit the power of the engine okay. and allow them and notify them on the gauge that they have a low fuel, low pressure condition. Ah, okay. What about oiling? It's ratio driven by fuel flow, but we also compensate for things like air temperature. And uh, so at colder temperatures on startup, we add, we add extra oil for engine, engine protection. Um, that's the same pump we've been using since 2015. Yeah. And we've had really good luck with that. Similar to our previous motors, uh, three-stage EV system. So controlled by an electronic actuator, very similar to our current 800, just implemented in this, this configuration geometry. So no real big change there, just new parts obviously to fit the new motor. Uh, bearings, yep. bearing oiling, uh, the PTO bearing oiling of course. Yep, very similar strategy what we have. We, we uh, oil the, the PTO bearing, we oil the MAG bearing. Uh, we do a center filled cavity for the water pump gear set and then we oil on the rod bearings through the 
over here. Yeah. Wow. So, so what, any clutch improvements? Yeah, so we went to a bigger taper. Bigger you did, taper. eh? So we, okay. we kept the clutches basically the same, but yes, we went to a bigger taper. And we also have a new belt for the 850 that's an improved compound for longevity. On the 800s, some of us have had issues with, uh, especially on break-in, plugs. Lose, losing plugs. Yep. So, so I think uh, last year we went to, uh, we never explicitly stated, I don't think, that we no longer needed to add oil to the tank when you do initial break-in. Right. Uh, the pump adds oil for break-in, so I think people were doubling up there, and that was causing some of that plug falling. So you no longer need to pre-mix that quart of oil and the fuel ah, okay. like people had done in the past. So I think that was probably a lot of what was happening. A lot of also what happens there is um, they get started at the dealership, right? Whether on a showroom floor or in the back, you get started by tax order. They get that, we kind of call it that on off the trailer syndrome where you, you drive up on the trailer, they drive it off, yep. they move it in the garage, yep. and you've never warmed it up, you've never cleaned that plug off. So, and that, that was exacerbated by the fact that you were adding oil to the tank. Okay. So we have a built-in starter Bendix over here. Ah, that's a great idea. Yep. So, so if you don't get power start or electric start, you'll have this the cover there. If you have electric start, that's where it's all housed. It's ah, on the engine. Good. Um, you'll notice improved sound and improved durability on the starting system on huh. the 850. Now, what about uh, exhaust? Any improvements on exhaust or um, differences? No, no real changes. Obviously, a new pipe for the new yep. new engine. Um, we have added a second sensor in the uh, in the resonator just to. Uh, control to monitor the, the resonator. Okay, and RPM? Yep. R same, similar RPM? Yeah, real similar to the 800. Um, A250 to A300 um, is where they're clutch. So, kind of right, right in that same ballpark the 800 was in. Yeah. And reads? Reads still using a V4 read. Okay. We still have uh, that going, so a um, little bit different. Just yeah. designed just for the geometries of this engine, but yeah, same V4 read. We have really good luck with them on the 800s. We continued the, the partnership with them on the 850. Is that a uh, Q code? That, that's the uh, barcode. So they barcode. know they know what goes every. There, multiple parts all have our barcode, and that's attached to the serial number of the engine. Oh, great! Yep, that's awesome. Thanks very much, Rick. Yeah, I really appreciate you. your time, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to try that motor out.